my name is Eileen Pires. I'm an astrophysicist, and this is what is the typical size of a white dwarf. So first, let's talk about a white dwarf is. So stars that are about, there are less than eight times so the mass of our sun uh, die from, at the end of their lives, they become a red giant and then go into a white dwarf. So if we look at our HR diagram, and let's say like a star like our sun, is going to become a red giant, so it's going to puff out the outer layers and it's going to become cooler. As it becomes cooler, it moves down the H, uh, the H diagram since the temperature here is dropping this direction. So it moves this direction, but because it's so uh, large, it becomes very luminous. Therefore, the lum in the luminosity axis, it moves up. So therefore, the red giant face comes up here. So this circle over here is where the red giants can be located in the HR diagram. After it becomes a red giant, it just completely blows out the outer layers. It it is, you are left with the exposed core, and that's going to be the white dwarf. So think about it. The white dwarf is small. It's still very hot because it's the core, but it's not going to be very bright because since it's going to be so small, it's going to be much, much dimmer. So therefore, it's going to be in the lower part of our luminosity axis, but it's still going to, since it's going to be way hotter, it's going to be towards the end of this temperature. So it's going to drop over here, and this is the white dwarf section. Okay, so now that we have the white dwarfs located in the HR diagram, let's think about what is the temperature. So the temperatures range from 30,000 degrees Kelvin to about 6,000 degrees Kelvin. So it goes from very hot to sort of cold and eventually loses all of its heat. So once, once the star has contracted into a white dwarf size, uh, the cooling process can take up to a billion years. It's just eventually just going to lose all of its heat. So it starts with 30,000 and 8 billion years later, it just it drops to a couple of thousands. So now let's think about how big are these things. So we're now just left with the exposed core of a star and a star that wasn't very massive. So generally speaking, um, the mass of a white dwarf is about half the mass of the sun. So it's going to be in the order of 10 to the 30th kilograms. So now when we think about this, it's very massive, but we also said that it's going to be just the core, so it's going to be very small. So the actual radius of a white dwarf is about the size of planet Earth. So it's just a few thousand kilometers uh, across in, in radius. So the radius is about, you know, a few thousands of kilometers. So it can be like the Earth, about 6,000 kilometers. So that's about the size of a typical white dwarf. My name is Aline Perez. I'm an astrophysicist, and this is what is the size of a typical white dwarf.